Hello everybody, welcome to Utah Jazz Franchise. A quick look at the Western Conference standings. The Golden State Warriors are 12 and 3, followed by the Memphis Grizzlies at 12 and 4. Clippers come in at 12 and 5, number 4 the Thunder at 11 and 5. Fifth place the Blazers 11 and 6, the Pelicans in 6, Spurs 7th, San and or uh, Minnesota 7 and 7. That's the Jazz next opponent here. Mavericks, Nuggets, Lakers, Suns, Rockets, Kings, and the Jazz bringing up the rear at 4 and 13. Plagued by injuries. The Eastern Conference, the Cavs at 13 and 1, Chicago 12 and 4, the Hawks 9 and 7, Washington 8 and 6, Pistons 9 and 8, the Knicks 8 and 7, Pacers 8 and 9, and the Hornets 7 and 8. The Heat, Raptors, Magic, Bucks, Nets, Celtics, and the Philadelphia 76ers last place. All right, the Utah Jazz and the Minnesota Timberwolves from the Twin Cities at Target Center in downtown Minneapolis. Game number 18 of the 16-17 regular season. Shelvin Mack, Hood, Hayward, Favors, and Gobert starting for Utah. Down 12-7 now, Rudy Gobert. Back to Gordon Hayward from the top of the key. He hits the shot. It's 12 to 9 in favor of the Timberwolves. Nice pass there. Look from Rudy Gobert on the block. They head to Ricky Rubio for the layup. Puts Minnesota up by 10 in the first quarter. Timberwolves up 25 to 11 now. And Andrew Wiggins drops in a three from the left side. Minnesota running away with this one early. Another three, and it's 37 to 15 at the end of the first quarter. Timberwolves not missing. The Jazz just crumbling here and not playing very well on either end of the floor. At the end of the first, here's Dunn, guarded by Neto, who's playing hurt. And Dunn is fouled. He gets the shot to go. It's 45 to 20. Timberwolves lead by 25 here. The Jazz just look completely hapless and helpless out on the floor today. Ricky Rubio back to Carl Anthony Towns, and Towns drops one in from about 20 feet out. Timberwolves up big. Shelvin Mack stripped by Dunn. Dunn on the run. Goes coast to coast, lays it up and in. Nobody stops the ball. Timberwolves here up by 35 here now. Wiggins with a quick step back, fall away, and it is 71 to 34 at halftime. Minnesota shooting 57%, have eight steals. The Jazz just not taking care of the ball at all, and just getting completely run out of the building. Chris Dunn, 21 points and five assists for the rookie. Wiggins over the right side to Dunn. Dunn. Back to the right, and he hits the three, and it's almost a 40-point lead here. And we're just going to call it good and <laughs> go to the end of the game here. Minnesota wins it 140-84. to uh, I did play the game out, but I just didn't save any highlights from the rest of the game as there was not much there to save. It got pretty ugly. Jazz shoot 41%. Only 73 field goals to Minnesota's 98. You're not going to win a lot of games when that is the case. And we will move on to the Houston Rockets and the Jazz at game number 19 on the season. Jazz come in at 4 and 14, the Rockets at 6 and 11. Game number 19 back at the Viv Beverly Harden, Ariza Anderson and Nene starting for the Rockets. The Jazz beat the Rockets handily in Houston. We'll see how they do coming off that brutal loss to Minnesota. Patrick Beverly goes all the way to the hole, lays it up and in. Here's Rodney Hood in the paint. Turnaround fall away off the glass is good. We're tied at 12. 16 to 12 now for Houston. Neto into the lane, takes the contact, gets it to go. It's 16 to 14. So you can see Neto holding his side, playing hurt. Exum around the screen from Lyles. Lyles looking down the barrel, hits the three, and we are tied at 22. Much better first quarter for the Jazz this this night. 
as the Rockets lead 24 to 22 at the end of the first here in Salt Lake City. Tied up at 34 now. Midway through the second. Hood around the screen. Hood goes all the way to the hoop, up and off the glass with the left hand. Jazz lead by four here. Six minutes to go. Beverly into the right corner to Ariza. Ariza wide open, knocks down the jumper. Three-point shot by Ariza. It's 38-37. to 37. Hayward fakes the three, drives left, and he is able to get all the way to the hoop for the dunk. Gordon Hayward. Rockets lead by one here. James Harden into the lane. He is blocked there by Rudy Gobert. Gobert up to Shelvin Mack. Mack on the right side. He pulls up for three. Nothing but net. And the Jazz take a 43-41 to lead. Houston would come back, though, and have a run of their own, and they lead by seven, 56-49 at the break. Rockets shooting 48%. Jazz shooting 46%. Gobert with eight boards. Patrick Beverly, seven assists for the Rockets. Jazz defense has got to play better, though, giving up 56 points in the half to the Rockets. Here's Ariza on the left side. The Rockets are good offensively, though. Gobert strips it away from Nene. Here is Hayward. Hayward goes all the way to the hoop to dunk it home. Gordon Hayward with the flush. 60-58 to 58 Rockets. Here's Harden. Harden hits the three with the left hand. 63-58 to 58 Rockets with the lead. Rockets by four now. Favors steals the ball, able to stay in bounds. Hands it to Neto. Nice steal there by Derek Favors. Here's Neto. Nice pass down to Withy as Withy's cutting from the opposite baseline. No foul called there. And it's 70-68 to 68 in favor of Houston. Here's Favors going to work on the left block. Little jump hook from the right hand, or the left, yeah, right hand. Jazz lead 72-71. to 71. Boris Diaw down the middle on the pick and roll. Diaw lays it up with the left hand. Jazz have the lead here late in the third. And they end the third with a 76-75 to 75 lead over the Houston Rockets in Salt Lake City. We head to the fourth quarter. Jazz with the lead, 76-75. Ariza on the left side. Looking at Gordon around the screen. Eric Gordon, top of the key, hits the shot. 77-76, Rockets with the lead. Neto around the withy screen. Stops, pops, right in the face of Nene, and he gets it to go. Rockets lead by one here with 6.56 to go. Beverly guarding Neto. Or excuse me, Neto guarding Beverly, and Beverly goes glass. Rockets lead 96 to 89 here, 340 to go, and a three-point shot made there by Ryan Anderson. Houston goes on to win 110 to 104, a much better showing by the Jazz, but not enough to get the job done. Rockets hit 12 threes on the game, and uh, the Jazz 13 turnovers, the Rockets 8. Again, get, giving up more turnovers than they're forcing, and that's a big issue for the Jazz this season, something they've got to correct if they're going to start winning ballgames and get back into a hunt for the playoffs.